<coughs> there's a patch of my car history that must have missed or mustn't have been paying attention when this was built and talked about the Aston Martin Vulcan I found it as a mod and it's I saw it on a, a, a driving program uh, in a garage and a guy took it out on track and thought geez I wonder if there's my, my, my god it's out there and it is just awesome to drive it's lovely so I'm taking a little bit of time out from setting pace setting laps for uh, RSR uh, racing uh, leaderboards and just had a bit of a fun race against some other Aston uh, mod that uh, I got out there, multiples of the same other car, uh, D, D, DB, DB9 and DBS, I always mix them up and t can't tell by the shape all the time. But this this is like the Victor, it's got the uh, uh, exhaust pipes out the side and the flames that spit out and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, I'll shut up and just um, let you enjoy these couple of laps. Uh, uh, tires apps aren't reading the, the, the pressures and stuff off it though, which is quite interesting. But I'll get rid of those so they're they're not so annoying. At least move them down there. I don't even know why I got that open at the moment. I'm not doing that at this second. So anyway, no more, no further ado. Um, yeah, good laps. Uh, not a lot of mucking up in these, which is against my normal form. <laughs> All right, enjoy. Kind of looking forward to seeing it in action myself. It's a sexy car and it felt really good to drive. I just had to muck around with some tyre pressures just to get that sort of right, you know. Spitting flames, gotta love that. Thought you might like a look inside. It's quite a sexy place to be, really. Get down so you can see past the mirror a bit there. My first lap in the car uh, at all uh, at, at that point of the track, so I was a bit soft going through that bend. But next lap, I flogged that all these corners, I flogged them a second lap quite nicely. I could dial another five seconds out of the track off my second time, though. It's so much fun to drive, you just don't trust it enough first time round. I guess what I'm trying to say is it's probably one of the cars you should get if you haven't got it because some cars you'll drive once and go, eh, hey, whatever. This won't. You, you'll drive this and go, I could have pushed that harder, I could have pushed this harder. It's one of those ones that you'll find that braking point, but it's further than you think, you know?
most other cars you want to go hard and you're kind of pulling yourself back from urges this is like apart from having to catch that back end a fair bit um, bit of throttle control is something I need to work on still like to stamp it flat like I've got a button <laughs> but um, yeah you'll you'll get a little oh, I'm, gonna, I'm already addicted to this thing eh? Most of you bastards put the steering wheel on the wrong bloody side of the car too. Fucking pain in the ass for someone like me. By someone like me, I mean a mint bloke Aussie fair dinkum dinky die. There you go, girls and girls. 